Hi, my name is Renee, and I'm a bike specialist here at Pro Gear Bicycles. Today, we will be running you through some assembly tips for your new Pro Gear tricycle. We will be assembling the Pro Gear Ride Free. However, these tips can apply to any of the tricycles found on our website. These are the tools you will need to assemble your Pro Gear trike. A 17 mil spanner, a 14 mil spanner, a 13 mil spanner, a 10 mil spanner, a 9 mil spanner, a 6 mil Allen key, a Phillips head screwdriver, a 15 mil pedal wrench, some grease, and a bicycle pump. Once our fenders are installed, we can attach our wheels. You will see one hub is round, whereas the other includes a special keyway. This keyway hub must be installed onto the left side of the frame. Once the wheels are on, we can tighten the 17 mil nuts. With our rear fenders attached, we can join the rear frame to the main section. To connect the rear frame to the main section, we will feed the rear end into the inside of the main frame arms and attach using the supplied nuts and bolts. Ensure the flat end of the bolts are on the inside of the frame for maximum clearance to the cassette and the brake rotor. When attaching the front wheel to the forks, we need to ensure the brake disc is on the same side as the caliper. Once installed, we can place the washer tabs in the holes and tighten the 15 mil nuts. To make the install of our chain easier, we can look to remove the chain cover from the tricycle by loosening and removing the fixing bolts. To connect our chain, we will place it over the front chain ring and rear cassette and attach using the supplied quick link. The supplied quick link must be installed on one pin and slid down to the opposite end where it will click into place. Once on, we can pull tight to ensure a solid connection. To 
install the stem, we will gently loosen off the stem bolt and lower into the head tube past the minimum insertion line. Once in, we can tighten the bolt securely. When installing the handlebars, the first step is to ensure that the forks are in the correct direction. An easy way to tell is to check the brake caliper, which should be situated on the left side at the rear of the fork. We will start by attaching our seat post to the saddle and evenly tightening the 14 mil bolts on either side. Slide the seat post into the seat tube and adjust the height, being sure to insert further than the marked minimum insertion line. To start our pedal install, we first need to identify the left and right pedal, marked L and R. We will start by applying grease to the pedal thread and screwing the right pedal clockwise into the right crank. The easy way to tell is to twist the pedal towards the front of the bike to tighten. We can repeat the process and screw on the left pedal into the left crank. The left pedal is tightened in a counterclockwise direction, again tightening towards the front of the bike. Once finger tight, we can use a 15 mil spanner to tighten both pedals. First step when setting up our brakes is to connect the brake cable to the lever. To adjust our brakes, we will start by loosening the two bolts holding the front brake caliper to the fork while squeezing the front brake lever and then retightening the two bolts. This should center your caliper over the disc. Any small minor adjustments can be made by gently loosening the bolts and moving the caliper by hand into position. You can look down the disc to see where your caliper may be grazing the disc and adjust. Once tightened, the lever will feel firm after four to five mil of travel. We can then repeat these steps for the rear brake. First step when setting up our gears is to connect the cable to the rear derailleur. We will feed the inner cable through the already fitted outer cable and then feed it into the rear derailleur and tighten. We will first start by pedaling the bike freely. If not using a work stand, this can be done by propping the rear drive wheel off the ground. However, as mentioned, we recommend using a bicycle work stand. We will adjust the gears down to the lowest setting so the chain sits on the smallest cog at the rear. Now check each cog by shifting the gears up and down nice and slowly. If the chain doesn't move up the cassette freely, it means our gear cable is too loose. We can fix this by increasing the cable tension on our barrel adjuster here. This is the opposite for shifting back down our gears. If we find the chain doesn't move down freely, we have too much tension. Backing off the tension with the barrel adjuster will allow the chain to drop down freely.
next step will be to assemble and install the basket. To install our basket, we will attach the base to the rear frame and assemble the sides, sliding them into place and securing using the supplied buckles. To finish, we will make our final adjustments. First, we will ensure that the stem is in line with the front wheel. And then we will tighten by using our six mil Allen key. Next, we will ensure that our handlebars are centered to the stem and at a comfortable angle. Then we will tighten with a 6 mil Allen key. And there you have it. Your Pro Gear trike is assembled and ready to ride. Now get out there and have some fun.